Hey there. This is the velvet room. Welcome. Hi. It's been quite some time. A little bit. When was the last time we talked? Since we've been summoned to the velvet room. Do not be alarmed. You are fast asleep in the real world. I know that much. I have summoned you within your dreams. Uh, yeah. Now then, your journey has taken you quite a distance thus far. Yes. Do you believe you'll be able to successfully solve this mystery? Sure. I can do it. Splendid. The precise destination of this vehicle, ah, that too is getting rather hard to judge. Oh? If we continue driving blindly, we may end up leading you further away from the mystery that you must reach. Okay. Well, why don't we take a moment to look back on your journey? Oh, okay, let's take it a moment. It was for that purpose that I summoned you here tonight. Oh, it's a recap episode. All right. Secret? Recap. Voice you've heard many times before echo in your mind. Holy shit. Really getting it is totally different. I mean, really finding yourself. We are experiencing the words engraved into your memory during your journey. Okay. All right. Let's go ahead and think this through as much as we need. And if we leave any unanswered questions behind, we'll just be lying to ourselves. I'll think as hard as I can and try to help. Go team! Come on, we've accomplished this much together, haven't we? Right. Together. What about now, Toe? Oh, because I haven't started a social like, oops. <laughs> comrades with you as well. Those heading in the same direction through this dense fog. It's totally because I hadn't started our social link. Oopsies. What the fuck's going on here? I'm stopping. Oh. Since the car stopped moving. Oh god, what? We'll be parked for the moment while I confirm our current heading. Okay. As I mentioned previously, this year will signal a great change in your life. Though there isn't much time left. It can be worth your while to take the time to stop and reflect. All right. People are like water flowing in a river. There is only one stream, but all who pass through it are affected differently. Some travel fast. Some change their course, experiencing countless events as they travel down the river of time. Just so. The state of this room reflects the scenery of your heart. It's Perhaps blue. this may be a time for contemplation rather than action. Okay. Something in the distance. A fucking doorbell. The hell is going? What the fuck? I think I, I think Bill Nye needs to lay off the drugs a bit. I think. Jesus Christ! Who the hell's at the door? So we tonight hear the doorbell ring. Someone seems to be at the door. Oh, you okay? Hey, called it. Teddy's missing. I looked all over the neighborhood, but I couldn't find him anywhere. Shit. Okay, I'm worried. Yeah, me too. He was acting all weird lately. Rese and the others are checking inside the TV to see if he's gone back to the other side. We're meeting pretty soon, so will you come with me to Juness? All right, sure. Where could Teddy have gone? In any case, he decided to go look for him. Yeah, he's he's a little lost right now, I think, which is a problem. It's a big problem. What would you two come up with? It's no use, man. We can't find him. No luck for me either. I didn't sense anything over there. The fog's so dense; it might be affecting my readings. I wish I could do better. I'm sorry. Uh, Ted, don't tell me he really went back to his world this time. We told him over and over that he could stay here. You called him a serious dream we had last night. This may be a time for contemplation rather than action. That is what Igor said, but... Let's think about this. I guess that's all we can do right now. Contemplation. He plays dumb a lot, but he's attached to us deep down. He wouldn't disappear without saying anything, right? 
I'm worried for Teddy myself, but let's trust in him and await his return. Right now, we must concentrate on the case. Yes, that's... that's... It concentrate. won't be long before Namatame is transferred to another location. We must hurry, or we will miss our only chance to get his perspective on this. Yes. You know, I've been thinking about the case since, but something just doesn't seem right. Let's quickly review the facts. Okay. Contemplation. Of all the victims, only two were killed. Miss Yamano the announcer, and Saki-san. From the documents we found in the car, we know Namatame had some sort of dealings with them. Yeah. After that, there were multiple attempted murders in which we were targeted. But I stopped them all. when he took Nanako-chan that we caught him in the act, identifying his modus operandi in the process. God, this... I want to hear you put it like that. Sounds like the dude's guilty. Yeah, but he's not. As a result of Namatame's arrest, the police admitted that Mitsuo Kubo was a mere copycat killer. Who killed Mi uh, who killed King Moron. Back up to yesterday. Remember when you said Namatame didn't have a motive to kill the announcer? That's what's bothering me. Right. Either he's completely nuts, or we're misunderstanding something. There's something up. You lost me. Oh, okay. Good, good, She's good try. She's trying to say that if Namatame is sane, then there may be facts in the case we don't know about yet. Okay. Sane or insane? Sounds like a play I saw before. When he talks about saving people, what does that actually mean? I don't think there's any doubt that it includes kidnapping people and throwing them into the TV. Could he mean saving them through death? He did call himself a savior and said that the other side is a wonderful world. So they'll be saved if they die? What a bunch of crap! The bastard should have gone and saved himself! You're doing what good, do you think, Kanji. Senpai? Uh, no, nah, there's something else. If you think about it normally, it's got to be him. <laughs> but there ain't nothing normal about that world anyways. There's something I've been wondering about for a while. When we first encountered him, he said, You're the ones I saved. Don't worry, I'll save this girl too. It's because I technically saved them. That's, yeah. So, um, if he saves people by killing them, did he save us too? Wouldn't he actually have failed to save us? Because he faced your he other raised self. A good point. If he thinks that salvation comes only through death, his words to us make no sense. And another thing, the Namatame who appeared on the Midnight Channel said he failed to save Nanako-chan. Well, maybe he really was trying to save the victims by putting them inside the TV. Come on, don't get all quiet like that. You guys know I just say the first dumb thing that pops into my head. <laughs> The possibility that he truly intended to save us. But he's still the one who threw in Saki-senpai in that announcer, right? Sure, we haven't nailed down his motives, but that doesn't change the fact that he killed them. Or what? You think someone else was involved? What makes you think so? Possibility of a couple besides Namatami. Could there be something that proves this possibility? Uh... Fuck. I don't think this choice matters. <laughs> I got, like, I'm playing pot fire here. Jesus Christ, just trying to figure it all out. Um, Namatame's diary. Does it by itself? The warning letter. Warning letter? Oh, yeah. Whatever happened to that thing? If Namatame's the killer, he must have been the one who wrote it, right? Let's review them. You call it the first warning letter, said don't rescue anymore. And the second one said if you don't stop this time, someone close to you put in and killed. So. Yes, that's right. But that doesn't fit our, our thought process behind Namatame. Isn't that kind of odd? Would someone who thinks he's saving people by killing them write stuff like don't rescue or kill? Yeah. Yeah. And the will be put in and killed part doesn't make sense either. Uh, yeah, that's. Yeah. If the killer was writing it. Wouldn't it be more like, I'll put it and kill? What? Yeah. S hey, fair. could this mean... Fair point, grammar. 10 out of 10. Uh, the Namatami wrote it wrong. Namatami didn't write it. Definitely did yeah. not. It's almost like someone else wrote this letter. 
But only the killer would write such a letter and deliver it to Dojima-san's house, right? Definitely. If someone else wrote it, that could only mean... Dear God. Since this is such an unusual case, I was absolutely convinced that other than the Kubo incident, there was one culprit. So, Namatame really was trying to save his Yeah, pizza? he was definitely just watching the Midnight Channel. He's like, yo, that person got tossed him in. Everything is exactly the opposite of what it first seemed. Def like, what, how long did I go did I say that? Namatame's parlance, failing would have been the first two cases when the victims died. If he had used his method twice and failed both times, he would hardly have continued using the TV. And yet he did. It all seems to suggest that someone else wrote this warning letter while observing the entire case. Huh. Someone else? Then, it wasn't Namatame that killed Saki-senpai in the announcer? We can't say for certain yet. We urgently need to speak with Namatame face to face. Yeah, you all work together to take another step towards the truth. We're doing things. Hell yeah. Here we are the seekers of the truth. Seek out to the truth. Hello. After what happened yesterday, they said they're going to tighten security. I have a plan. Oh. There's no time to waste. Let's hurry to the hospital. I like how you thought of a plan already, Naoto. You the best. You the best. Hey, this place is off limits. Yeah. I'm a consultant with the police. I'd like a few words with Namatame-san. May I go in? This is Unit 252, requesting confirmation on an ID. Name of Naoto Shirogane. Huh? Ah. Understood. I see. Did it actually work? Well, you're on the list. Holy shit, it worked. I can give you a few minutes, but I'll have to record your conversation with him for security purposes. Not that I expect you'll get anything coherent out of the guy. He's been spouting nothing but gibberish. Now gibberish is just what we want. I'd like him to accompany me as well. He has no identification, but this is an emergency situation. And he's here in Detective Dojima's stead. Yep. Huh? Detective Dojima sent him? I wasn't informed of this. Well... I'll vouch for his identity. Well, I guess it's better than dealing with the man himself. Indeed. We have our hands full with the transport procedures, so the last thing we need is Detective Dojima running wild. Detective Adachi is busy somewhere, too. Okay. This is Unit 252. Huh? I see. Has something happened? There's something about a suspicious object out in the lobby. Uh oh. Ah. Uh. Well then, this works out nicely. You should back up your colleagues downstairs. We'll keep watch over Namatame-san. A disturbance in a hospital lobby after all. It sounds serious. Oh man, we're playing hardball. If anything happens, hit the nurse call button. I'll leave the rest to you. Understood. We're playing hardball with a fucking suspicious package in a hospital. I knew they were undermanned, but I didn't expect it to go this smoothly. That's uh... Yeah, that's, 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 you don't piss around with suspicious objects in a hospital. Wow. There's nothing much inside that suspicious object. So he won't be gone long. All right. And now's our chance to talk to Namatame. Yeah, suspicious objects are never good. Never a good thing. But I commend Naoto for thinking, hey, let's put a suspicious object somewhere. Hey, we're back. Namatame-san, there's something we'd like to ask you. <laughs> it's tempting to think that you were the culprit behind this entire case. And to be honest, there are many in this town who hope you are. But we are here to learn the truth. So please... Answer our questions. Huh? Seems that he understands what you're saying. Okay, good. What should you ask him? I should ask him... Who did you throw in first? 
Get rid of the start, I think. Alright. Huh? Me? Hmm. Should ask him. Okay. Did you kill those two girls? Probably not. Nope. We know what's up. They were killed. I couldn't save them. Okay, I guess we have this. Save and killing people. I don't think so. Really don't think so. No. If nobody saves them, they'll be killed. That's why I put them in there. Put them in there to safeguard them, but really he's fucking up. All right. And tell me if my estimation is correct so far. After discovering the Yamano and Konishi incidents, you realized an appearance on the Midnight Channel meant certain death. Thus, to save her from that fate, you kidnapped Yukiko Amagi. Yeah. You couldn't let her be yeah, killed. Yeah, there we go. So you threw her into the TV, preventing the killer in this world from reaching her. And you repeated the process, as more individuals appeared on the Midnight Channel. And as it seemed to work. Yeah, okay. That makes sense. It all falls into place. His body is weak, but his mind is sound. He's trying to tell us the truth. Yeah, but if the stuff he's saying is true... There's another killer who murdered the first two victims? Indulge us in a few more questions. What did you ask him? Um... Who killed the first two? I have no idea. I want to know that too. Okay. Good to, uh, why the warning letters? Did you write those? I don't think you did. What are you talking about? Yeah, I didn't think you wrote them. Alright. That's enough. I didn't know. I never thought it would be that kind of place. As I thought. You believe me? Yeah. Did they find him? Did they find the one who did such cruel things? Mayumi. Please calm down. Our ability to find the culprit rests on you. I'm trying to like We know about the other world. I'm trying to concentrate and figure shit In out. In fact, we're the only ones who can fully understand what you have to say. Only you? Yup. We did blame you for everything at first. But now I think we can accept whatever you got to tell us as truth. Please, tell us everything you can, calmly and slowly. You're willing to listen? Do my story? We are. <sighs> All right. 